Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, June 30th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. So the market trying to finish the first half of the year with a bang here. Um, right now we're up where we're trading, seven, over seven, a little over 7% for the quarter, 14, 14 and change for the year for the S&P. NASDAQ's up 30% for the year. So after a very difficult year last year, market's trying to turn it around. Now again, we have PC coming out uh, at 8.30. So we'll see if that's going to uh, change anything in the pre-market. Um, if it does not, well then this market has a very good chance to come out of an inside week to the upside for the S&P and a possible outside week up. So it all remains to be seen if we're gonna be able to do that, but right now, they're trying pre-market. NQ also trading above yesterday's high. Remember, NQ also had another inside day yesterday. So if they come out of it, you go with it and monitor for continuation or lack of. Even though we took back a lot of the trend day from the 27th in both NQ and ES, they did hold it. So that's pretty impressive. Righty went out with a perfect pock yesterday. Certainly a P-shape. Now they're looking to also gap higher. So the game plan um, for this morning, again, it's going to have to it's going to determine where we are come 8:30. Um, again, gaps have not held for the uh, for the most part this year. Um, as far as upside gaps, we have had 33 of them, only eight have held, so 24 percent, 24.2. Downside gaps have held 24 percent of the time. But again, it's going to depend on the size of the gap. Right now, the gap is a buck and a half. So who knows once PCE comes out. Will there be no gap? Will it be a $3 gap? It all remains to be seen. If the gap becomes much smaller after PCE, then I probably would look to see if the gap fills initially, okay, and then take a long somewhere against value high and front run overnight low, which, by the way, is poor right now down at um, the 33 level. So that would be something um, to look for. You take out that overnight low, you get back inside of value, same thing, you'll trade down to the POC. So that would end that kind of run to the upside if that was to happen. Uh, on the flip side, if the gap come 930 is a 2 $3, again, I'm not going to be chasing any longs. Then we'll see what kind of visual reference points we have up above and wait for pullbacks to look for any type of longs. Um, possibly, possibly the only short play here early would be depending on where the overnight high is to maybe front run that. Again, all early. We will be recapping all of these indices charts um, tonight from top down to see how we ended the half year. Right now, monthly in ES and SPY, very healthy as you can see as they're one time framing up now for three months. The next goal for the S&P is April's high, okay? The Nasdaq's gotten that already. We're not even close to it. That's our next goal on the monthly in the bigger picture. The weekly, well, first thing is to take out last week's high maybe this morning. I have an inside week up. Right now we're a buck and a half above it pre-market. And the finish above it to have an outside week up. If we ever get really good legs today and take out this weekly high, we could actually turn around and have a outside week up and be up on the weekly right now it's balanced and the daily i've been calling it up three days one time framing up main focus is this little gap up here that gets filled at 438.97 again we're a dollar above it but we'll see at 830 if that um, continues to hold if it does well then today's gap will be our main focus Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap the day, the week, and the half year at 4 p.m.